Asus is back with their new Ultimate gaming phone. I'm talking about the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate. The ROG phones are known to have some of the most in-depth features available for mobile gamers, so what's new in this year's model? I'm Will for GSM Arena, and let's find out in our Asus ROG Phone 7 Ultimate review. The ROG 7 lineup so far consists of the regular ROG Phone 7 and the Ultimate version, which we'll be talking about today. Both models provide a top-tier gaming experience, but the Ultimate model has a second display on the back and a special window for the cooling fan to blow air into. Oh yeah, and the fan comes bundled here. The upgrades compared to last year aren't huge, but they're noticeable. There's a new chipset, improved cooling, better speakers, and a brighter display this time around. The design of the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate is along the same lines of what we've seen before. The back is made from Gorilla Glass 3, with a smooth, frosted white finish. White is the only color option, actually. The back curves into an aluminum frame. The phone is rather hefty, but balanced. And the aesthetic is definitely gamerish with its angled accents, but not in your face. Well, besides the ROG Vision display, that is. Just like last year, it's a full-color display that can light up with static images or animations, based on what's going on with the phone. It's all very customizable. You can download new designs and animations, or make your own from scratch. The air triggers are back. These are ultrasonic sensors on the corners of the device, which can accept inputs from taps, long presses, and swipes. These are mappable to your game controls, to give you an extra leg up over the competition. And you can even download pre-made mappings for specific games. Another interesting feature is that you get a second USB-C port and pogo pins on the side of the device. The port supports USB 3.1 Gen 2 and DisplayPort 1.4, and the pins are for hooking up ROG accessories. Probably the most relevant of these accessories is the Aeroactive Cooler 7, which comes bundled with the phone. It uses both a fan and a Peltier element to pump cooled air directly inside, through a window called the Aeroactive Portal. We also saw such a portal in last year's ROG 6D Ultimate. It stays closed, unless the fan is attached. But even while it's open, the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate features IP54 rated ingress protection. Back to the fan though, it really unlocks the phone's full potential as far as performance goes. New this year is a secondary air duct that blows onto the display itself for extra cooling. The fan provides extra trigger keys, RGB lighting, and this year it has a headphone jack and even a subwoofer built in, if you're all about that bass. It's really easy to connect, too. Besides the fan, there are other accessories available, but many of them have been phased out and aren't compatible with the new model. For example, the Kunai Gamepad 3 bumper isn't a perfect fit here. It can still connect, though, if you want to use it as a separate controller. In contrast, the ROG Clip is fully compatible. It allows you to connect the phone to a console gaming controller. And the ASUS Professional Dock also is still usable with the ROG Phone 7 and 7 Ultimate. The display of the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate is a 6.78-inch AMOLED with a 1080p resolution, Gorilla Glass Victus protection, and a whopping 165Hz refresh rate. This extra fast refresh rate makes movement on screen extra smooth. It won't dial down to save energy in this mode though. You'd have to be in the auto mode, which maxes out at 120Hz and can go down to 60. Of course, there's support for high frame rate gaming here too, and the screen is quite responsive. With a touch sampling rate of 720Hz and extensive optimizations, the total end-to-end -to -end touch latency is just 23 milliseconds. The display looks great. Since the selfie cam is in the top bezel, there's no notch or cutout here. The picture is sharp and contrasty, and there's HDR10 Plus support. And the colors can be dialed in to be quite accurate, using the extensive color options. The max brightness is a nice improvement from last year's model. We measured up to 520 nits with the manual slider, and this can boost to 1100 nits in auto mode when in bright conditions. Now let's get into the audio, which is tuned in partnership with Dirac. The ROG 7 Ultimate has a headphone jack, and thanks to the Dirac Virtual Spatial Audio Enhancer, you can get a surround sound effect with headphones on. There are also two identical front-facing stereo speakers, each with its own amplifier. They're very loud, and the sound quality is excellent. They're some of the cleanest and most crisp sounding speakers around. I also mentioned earlier that there's a subwoofer inside the Aeroactive Cooler, and it makes a noticeable improvement with the bass when it's plugged in. The ROG 7 Ultimate has an under-display fingerprint reader, 
which is speedy and accurate. And the phone comes with 512 gigs of storage on board, and that's not expandable through microSD. The interface of the phone is ROG UI on top of Android 13. It's a heavily customized UI, with most of these customizations being related to gaming. Within the quick toggles, you'll find an array of options, which includes the X performance mode. Turn it on and you get an animation on the home screen, and the icons will shift appearance too. One of the handiest tools you'll find at your disposal is the Game Genie, an overlay which you can call up in-game with a swipe from the corner. At the top, you can select the performance mode. There are also real-time performance stats, which you can leave on screen in a floating window. The other functions here include Do Not Disturb options, recording options, mapping for the triggers, controllers, and macros, and a mode which lets the game continue running in the background. There's also a dedicated space in which you can find more in-depth gaming settings, called the Armory Crate. The first thing you'll see is a game library for all of your titles. Each title gets its own profile, which you can customize. Within each profile, you can set a performance mode and download trigger and key mappings that other people have made. But then you can dive even deeper with the advanced mode. Through here, you can also tweak the touch behavior and the display settings. There's another performance tab here you can play with, and some network options. But even further beyond those tabs, you can dive into the advanced gaming tuning. This gives you a way to change system level values for the phone's internals. Wild stuff. Okay, so all of that customization was for individual games, but going back to the console tab, you can create system-wide changes and get real-time performance data. This is also where you'll find your options for the rear screen, the Aero Active Cooler, Game Genie, and Air Triggers. There's also a tab for a social media feed from Asus, and then there's a tab for recommended games, and one for your ROG account. So all in all, a ton of features here. Plus, Asus is promising two major OS updates and four years of security patches for the ROG 7 generation. The ROG phones always come out with the most cutting-edge hardware available, and the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate doesn't disappoint with this Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It packs significantly more power under the hood than the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 or the MediaTek Dimensity 9000 Plus, and it's rather power efficient as well. Plus, you get support for the latest memory tech, including LPDDR5X RAM and UFS 4.0. There is an exception this year though. Samsung actually has an exclusive deal with Qualcomm, and its flagships pack a slightly more powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy with higher clock speeds. So in benchmarks, the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate is just edged out from the top of the charts by the Galaxies. But still, this is among the most powerful Android phones you can get right now. And on top of all of that, the ROG Phone 7 series brings improvements in the passive cooling system, including a new rapid cycle vapor chamber and redesigned graphite sheets. This means you should get better thermal efficiency, even without the cooling fan working. And in our prolonged stress tests, the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate did a great job. Even in just the dynamic performance mode, without the gaming X mode enabled, thermal throttling was slow and gradual with no sudden dips. With the X mode on, the performance loss over time is much less. However, the phone did become rather hot to the touch during the testing. And then there's the X Mode Plus, which requires the cooling fan, here enabled on its maximum setting. The performance in this case was the most stable, and the phone remained perfectly comfortable to hold. Just like the previous generations of the ROG phone, the latest model has a 6,000 mAh battery, split into two symmetrical cells using MMT tag. The battery life is excellent here, with the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate scoring an endurance rating of 131 hours in our proprietary tests. The phone comes with 65 watt fast charging, and with the bundled adapter, we were able to charge from 0 to 68% in half an hour. The rear cameras of the ROG Phone 7 haven't changed from the previous generation. You get a 50 megapixel main camera, a 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel macro cam. The main cam's photos come out at 12.5 megapixels due to pixel binning. These look good, with plenty of detail and true-to-life colors. The dynamic range is decently wide, too. The contrast is a bit high, and the rendition of fine details like foliage does look a bit artificial from up close, but overall, not too bad. There is a 2 times digital zoom on the viewfinder, and the quality is okay. It's quite close to the photos without the zoom, but with some additional sharpening. Portraits taken with the main cam are decent, with good enough subject detection and separation. The ultrawide's photos are very decent as well. The detail level is very good for this type of camera, and dynamic range is wide. The colors are saturated and look good, but don't match the main cam's rendition. The sharpening can be a bit aggressive here as well. Close-ups from the macro cam are clean and usable, with nice looking colors. 
In low light conditions, the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate will automatically use NED mode processing. These photos from the main cam are quite alright. The detail is there, colors look decent, and noise is minimal. Light sources are handled well, and there is some detail in the shadows too. Beyond that, there is also a dedicated night mode. On the main camera, it cleans up some of the noise, applies some additional sharpening, and contains light sources a bit better. The ultra-wide cam naturally struggles quite a bit more in low light, even with auto night mode kicking in. Its shots are darker, with limited dynamic range. Many surfaces look noisy and soft. Toggling the dedicated night mode does make an improvement, reducing the noise and brightening things up overall. Shadows are boosted and textures look a lot more detailed. Each shot does take a while to process though. The ROG Phone 7 Ultimate does have one new camera, the 32 megapixel selfie cam. It bins pixels to produce 8 megapixel selfies, and they look great, with plenty of detail, good looking textures, and natural colors. When it comes to video, the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate can record in up to 8K at 24fps with this main cam. This footage looks great, with plenty of detail, and colors which are vibrant but not over the top. 4K video is also great, with not much less detail than the 8K footage and the same good looking colors. The dynamic range is wide too. The ultra wide cam's 4K video is nice, with plenty of detail and good looking colors, which again are more saturated than those from the main cam. Electronic stabilization is available regardless of camera or resolution, and while it does come with a cropped frame, it does a good job in smoothing out the footage. The main camera captures very clean low light videos with plenty of detail. Light sources are handled well too. The colors are a bit bland, and the overall exposure could stand to be a bit brighter. So that's the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate. Not a ton has changed since the previous generation, but the improved thermals and brightness boosts on the display are quite welcome. Also, an upgrade to the latest chipset is a must to stay ahead of the game. The ROG 7 Ultimate doesn't break the mold, but again, the level of gaming related features and customization options here are above and beyond anything else on the market. And for hardcore mobile gamers, this is definitely worth checking out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to check out some alternatives to the Asus ROG Phone 7 Ultimate, one option could be the Nubia Red Magic 8 Pro. Or you could check out the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let us know what you guys think, and I'll see you on the next one.